For over a year now, I've been slowly casting the bronze hardware needed to add lifelines to the boat. The purpose of the solid rail around the cockpit is to hold a pair of solar panels. I machined some aluminum brackets to hold the panels and installed them over rubberized tape to prevent electrolysis. These panels give a bit of a modern look to our old boat, but they are absolutely necessary for long periods away from civilization. Necessary, that is, if we want to run the fridge. The fridge is made up from rigid polyiso insulation, sheathed in a thin layer of plywood and fiberglass with tinted epoxy on the inside. It is very small, but it gives us a tiny freezer box as well. The fridge uses the sink through-hole fitting as a heat exchanger, giving water-cooled efficiency without requiring any water pump. The galley upgrades continued, with additional storage, a new sink, and spaces for dishes and cutlery. water tanks were steel, and while they looked great on the outside with their red lead paint, cutting an inspection port revealed a severely corroded inside. I set about replacing them. I welded up the new tanks in food grade polyethylene and pressure tested them before installation. We had a beautiful teak butterfly hatch, but like every butterfly hatch I've ever lived with, it leaked profusely. We needed something more robust and watertight for offshore sailing. The anchor chain had been stored in an overloaded plastic tub. We needed a proper chain locker with more room for the new chain 
and we decided to add some storage shelves on top as well. This has been just a few of the countless projects and upgrades we have made over the last four years as we've worked to make our dream a reality. It was time to move aboard and cast off the dock lines, setting sail for new adventure. But more about that later. Thank you.